when we were in the woods, I'll put a little, if I see a tree that I think might possibly have wood that Abe would use, I put a C on it, which stands for curly. This, this log here and this log here and this one right here will very definitely make guitar wood. It's really highly figured and when you pull the bark back you can see the ripples. Uh, they're fairly strong and once we run this across the mill uh, this should make some really pretty, pretty soft maple wood that's definitely ideal for making guitars. This pack down here, this is all guitar wood. This pack up here, that's all guitar wood. And then those uh, three or four packs over there, they're all curly soft maple that were uh, probably accumulated from, I, I, I'm gonna just guess a minimum, a minimum of 25,000 feet of logs. So all this stuff behind you is for you, Abe. Here you can see where there would be like one section for the guitar wood. Cut a piece out there, that probably would be uh, ideal for making the, the backs and sides of the instrument. It's a really interesting uh, you know, weird way how everybody acquires their specialized knowledge. Uh, and, and in economics, I think that's what it is. It's, it's known as specialization. He specializes in building guitars. You know, we specialize in wood. And, you know,